You're watching Ravens Rundown by Chat Sports, and when you're subscribed to our channel, you get all of the latest Ravens news, rumors, updates, plenty of draft, free agency, trade coverage, in season, off season, you name it. So I'm not sure what you guys are waiting for. Hit that big red button and subscribe as we get ready to break down the apparent new defensive coordinator for the Baltimore Ravens. Tom Downey here for Ravens Rundown, and the Baltimore Ravens appear to have at least focused in on a new defensive coordinator, but also kind of an older one as well. That's Mike McDonald, who is currently the Michigan Wolverines defensive coordinator. Now, the report out of On3 Sports, which is a, a recruiting website, the, the Michigan side of it, and some other collegiate-based uh, areas as well, is that the Ravens are expected to hire McDonald as their new defense coordinator. As we film this, not finalized, not publicly announced yet by the Ravens, but this is the apparent likely outcome. Now, this is a, I'll use the word logical, hire for Baltimore. It is both new and also kind of old because McDonald, before this past year, was with the Ravens for years. He had spent a long time growing up and developing as a Ravens assistant coach. He's still very young on the right side of 35 years old. He left last year, though, leaving John Harbaugh to go be the defensive coordinator for brother Jim. And now with Wink Martindale out as the Ravens defensive coordinator, it would appear very, very likely, although not technically official yet, that the Ravens are going to hire Mike McDonald as their new D.C. Now, before McDonald jumped ship to go be the Michigan defensive coordinator, and I think this point is now trending towards being an NFL head coach at some point in the somewhat near future, if things go well, of course, as the Ravens' D.C., he's had a quick rise to a defensive coordinator spot. 2008-2013, spent some time as the Georgia Bulldogs as a, as a G.A., with the Georgia Bulldogs as a GA and a defensive quality control coach. Ravens intern back in 2014 was a defensive assistant, then jumped to the Ravens DBs coach in 2017, then the linebackers coach in 2018 and 2020. So, new and old here for the Ravens once this deal is made official. So grade what I'll call the expected Mike McDonald hire. A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know in the comments section how you're feeling about this move by John Harbaugh. Now, the Ravens can get this deal done. They have satisfied the Rooney rule with their external interviews of Chris Richard and Joe Witt. Their other interviews were Richard, who was, of course, the former Cowboys defensive coordinator, spent some time as a high-ranking member in, in the Seahawks organization as well, is currently the Saints defensive backs coach. Joe Witt Jr., who's had several defensive coordinator interviews as well as the Cowboys secondaries coach slash defensive passing game coordinator. Former Ravens coach Joe Cullen, who was with the Jags for a little bit, or for a year under Urban Meyer, that went terribly, terribly wrong. And then the internal option, even with some buzz around another coach we'll get to later on in today's video, Anthony Weaver also interviewed. But it would appear the Ravens are instead going with Mike McDonald. There was a report, uh, what, a couple hours ago, last night, whatever it was, that Weaver and McDonald were the favorites to get the job. It would appear that McDonald, though, is the favorite and the expected defensive coordinator in Baltimore. Now, if you want to bet on NFL, college football once it comes back, the NBA, all kinds of sports, do it with our sportsbook partner, BetUS. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet and use promo code CHAT125. When you put down at least 100 bucks, they're going to give you an extra 125 for 100 or 125% 100, deposit bonus for those of you who have math issues like me. So fantastic, dude. You can bet on the playoff games, right? Bengals, Chiefs, the AFC title game. Kind of like the under in that game. We had such a great round of divisional round games. I wonder if the championship games aren't going to be quite as entertaining. But you can bet on whatever you want sports-wise with BetUS. Again, a 125% deposit bonus when you use promo code CHAT125 at chatsports.com slash bet. Let's look now more in depth on Mike McDonald. You guys know him so well from his time in Baltimore, but his time in Michigan, maybe you weren't fully up to speed, which I understand. He was great 
for the Michigan Wolverines. I know many a Wolverine fan in shambles over the apparent loss of Mike McDaniel. Michigan's defense last year, top 10 in points per game, top 20 in yards per game, top 15 in red zone defensive efficiency. Look at the change that Michigan underwent from 2020, winning only six games, don't have the same level of easier opponents, but still, Mike McDaniel takes over for, for or McDaniel, excuse me, Mike McDonald takes over for Don Brown. Don Brown's the DC in 2020. From Don Brown to Mike McDonald, the numbers almost get cut in half the way you want them to go, right? Points per game drops from 34.5 to 17.3. Total yards per game drops by 100. Passing yards and rushing yards down by about 50 each. The takeaways go from 3 to 15. Even if you're doubling or tripling the games, that's still way more under Mike McDonald than what the, the Michigan Wolverines had under Don Brown. I'm a big fan of this hire. Yeah, the college game is different than the NFL game, but I do believe that Mike McDonald is very much a rapidly on-the-rise ascending coordinator in both the NFL and, of course, previously the college ranks. So what is your confidence level, then, in Mike McDonald as the defensive coordinator? Scale this for me, 1 to 100. Of course, 1 is on the low end, 100 on the high end. I'm very curious to see what McDonald ends up doing with this Ravens defense. He knows a lot of these guys because he was only gone for a year. Marlon Humphrey remains one of your key pieces. Hopefully Patrick Queen continues his upward ascent as a young piece. Adafi Owe, which McDonald did not get to have uh, any real usage with as a rookie this year. He was great. Chuck Clark, Justin Matabike. And I'll make note, by the way, the defense does need some reinforcements, even an edge rusher opposite Owe. I think there is a prospect this year that compares very favorably to Adafi Owe. That's David Ajabo, young, developmental guy, has needs work in his run support, make no mistake, but he's got high-end ability already as a pass rusher. Now, the Ravens are not going to be able to draft Aiden Hutchinson in Michigan. Not going to happen. Ajabo, though, in the middle of round one, that could be a very real outcome for Baltimore, and who better to have him as, as one of the young pieces than the guy who coached him in his breakout year for the Michigan Wolverines. So I think the Ajabo-McDonald connection is one to monitor throughout the pre-draft process. Daxton Hill could be a fit if Deshaun Elliott leaves, but I don't love him in the mid part of round one, so timing might not be right. And there are some other... Michigan prospects who I want to mention that have, of course, the ties to Mike McDonald. Christopher Hinton, I thought was a bit of a disappointment for his time with the Wolverines, but he turned pro early. Josh Rosh at linebacker. I'm going to spend a day three pick on one. I'm not going to complain. You know, Vincent Gray, Brad Hawkins, or other defensive backs who I was, eh, I was, I was whelmed at best by them. So I think Ajabo is the big name to keep an eye out for. It's a potential round one fit for Michigan. Or for Baltimore, excuse me, from Michigan. So will the Ravens have a top five defense in 2022? I love this question, Jeremy. I think it's a good one. Now, I'll put this qualifier. If they're healthy, and if they're healthy, I think they have a very real shot at pulling that out. So let me know what you guys think. Y for yes or N for no. Some other defensive assistants who normally when you change DC, some of the other pieces get changed as well. Given that this is a almost a, a hybrid prom, like internal promotion since he was with the Ravens the year before this, I don't know how much change there will be. Anthony Weaver, we mentioned, alluded to Chris Hewitt, I should say, passing game coordinator. D'Anthony Lynn is there as the DB's coach now. McDonald, of course, has the uh, the linebackers background, so maybe there's maybe there's a Rob Ryan change uh, potentially, but. Ah. If he's your inside linebackers coach, that's fine. Just don't ever make him your DC. Drew Wilkins is there, and then there are some assistant coaches uh, and Jason Brooks and, and Jay Peterson as well. Speaking of coaches, I'm doing this just for you guys. How about Greg Roman? Who wants him gone? Because it appears, perhaps for some of you unfortunately, that Roman will be back as the Ravens offensive coordinator. Now, Roman's offenses have proven to be able to run the ball consistently and successfully with the best of any organizations out there. The passing game, though, not so much. Now, it appears that John Harbaugh will be back working on an extension. I think Roman's back with him. Not sure that's the best call in the end. So what do you think? Do you want Greg Roman fired? If you do, type in FR in the comments section 
FR, of course, stands for Fire Roman. 